A leisurely lunch for many women can often mean enjoying a glass or two of wine. Meeting up with friends may add a couple of beers to the mix. Entertaining at home may also involve having a few drinks. At moderate levels of drinking, about three to six drinks per week, there was a modest uh, but statistically significant 15 percent increase in breast cancer risk, regardless of what time in her life she consumed of that alcohol. Also, the amount of alcohol women drink may not stay the same over their entire lifetime, and that may affect their risk of developing the disease. Right now, take a little breath in. We were able to assess alcohol both early in life ages 18 to 40 and later in life. And other studies have not had such detailed assessments to understand the impact of alcohol consumption at different points in life. Dr. Wendy Chen from Brigham and Women's Hospital and co-authors did that by following more than 100,000 nurses participating in the Longstanding Nurses Health Study beginning in 1976. Researchers assessed their alcohol consumption eight times from 1980 to 2008. Alcohol during early adult life is independently associated with breast cancer risk in addition to alcohol consumption later in adult life. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. Because alcohol consumption throughout someone's adult life may be associated with uh, breast cancer risk, the good news is that it means that at any time in her life, she may be able to decrease her breast cancer risk by changing her alcohol consumption. Researchers also say those changes in drinking patterns need to be held consistently over time to be effective. Not just what someone did for six months or a year, but really what they did over a longer period of time, rather than just one specific time period in someone's life. Researchers are quick to point out that this is not a call for women to stop drinking. In terms of a woman's overall health, alcohol may have some benefits in terms of cardiovascular disease prevention, so that will need to be balanced uh, against any risk of breast cancer. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.